Okay, this bedroom is pretty dark, so I'm going to do a meter reading inside to find out the ambient exposure. Okay, one second. And um, the dark areas underneath the bunk beds, two to four seconds. Okay. Okay, flush into the ceiling. Good, nice and bright. Excellent. All right, let's have a look. Okay, there's my first exposure here. So the room was coming up about one to two seconds um, for that bed over there to not be overexposed was one second so but generally overall the room's about two seconds okay at f8 iso 200 that's two four and one you can see one the bed's not overexposed okay flash two seconds sorry two seconds no sorry that first flash is at uh one half a second then one quarter then one eighth Okay, that's one eighth just there. Okay, one eighth, one quarter, one half. I actually did two shots there. I was just getting rid of, there's a, too much glare here. So I did another one with my flash pointing a different direction to just reduce the amount of glare off that edge there, which was much better. Okay, now when I'm shooting flash, this is uh, something I'll show you guys when I'm shooting. So I'll place this here for a sec so you can see. There we go. Bit angled, but who cares? So when I'm shooting in the room, obviously you don't want to get in the way of your camera. All right. Trigger it. Flash goes up, and I'm angled. Okay. So I'm actually shooting into that corner. Sometimes I shoot straight up. Often I shoot straight into the corner. Sometimes I shoot directly into the wall. Okay. It depends on how you want to bounce the flash to spread it around the room. So obviously if you shoot it into this corner, it's like an umbrella. You're gonna get flash going down, out, everywhere. It's a good spread. If you're gonna shoot straight up, you just get kind of your main flash bouncing back down. If you shoot into the wall, obviously you're gonna get your flash bouncing back out. But if you shoot into the corner, you're gonna get a mix, okay? Like an umbrella. That's what I do. Okay guys, now we're going to shoot the main bedroom with the ensuite, alright? So first thing I want to do is just find the right position for my camera. And I start about here. I've got a built-in rope on one side, the bedroom area, bed area, and then on this side over here we've actually got an ensuite. So I want to try and pick up all three in this shot. It should be okay, should be no problem. Alright, good. Got my composition right. Okay, the exposure is pretty much the same as the last room, okay, which was um, half a, oh, sorry, two seconds with four second and one second on each side. So we'll shoot those. Okay, perfect. One second doesn't have any lights blown out, which is good. Now I'm going to flash the ceiling. It's a smallish room, so I'm going to start one second with a flash on the ceiling into the corner. Turn it on first, that'll help. Nice. Okay, you got half a second now. All right, perfect. You know, I might just do one or two seconds and see if it, if it helps at all. That's nice as well, okay? Perfect, now this bedroom's actually got a window as well. I've left the window closed for all the, um, the, original, the first shots, for the window shot, and now I'm gonna open the blind. The reason I left the blind out initially is because the light coming through is um, 
off kilt, like it's not directly from the sun. So it's shadow light and it's quite blue. There's also snow outside, which adds to the blueness. Okay, so I've opened that up and now the light temperature, color temperature now is really blue. So, but I can see some snow. We can actually see one of the snow gums just outside the window, which is really nice. But that's not going to be a problem now. So we'll be able to mix the ambient warmer exposures inside with our window shot. Okay. So the flash is still on. My right, first shot's going to be one eighth of a second. All right. Yeah. Good. I'm going to do one a quarter. I might actually use the other flash just to light the inside, okay? So I was using one flash then. Okay, let's try both at the window. That's good. Alright, that's excellent. Good, so we've got the window now, okay? We'll have a look at those. Okay, that's my last window shot. With that shot there, instead of shooting directly out the window, I've actually shot up into the ceiling, in the middle of the ceiling. So the light's hitting up here and bouncing straight back down. I'm using both my flashes, and that's brightened that right up. So that's going to be really easy to blend in to my internal shots. You can see we've got a snow gum, a bit of snow outside there, which is nice. Oops. Now, so these are my window shots. You can see I actually picked up a bit of a flare there. See that? That's from the flash. So it's actually picked up a bit of flare from the flash coming sideways into the lens. The 14 to 24 is a little bit prone to flare from the side. Okay, so my window shots, all good. These are my interior shots. As you can see, color temperature, completely different, much warmer. And we'll be able to mix those two. We'll be able to warm, warm these shots right up and then blend them in. My interior shots with flash. And if I go back right to the start, here we go. There's my ambient exposures, okay? Two seconds, four second, one second, okay? And then flash, two seconds, one second, sorry, one second, one half a second, then two seconds. This is two seconds flash, and they're nice shots, all right? We're gonna move on to the ensuite now, we'll shoot that. Okay, set up to shoot the ensuite. Just going to remove the uh, the foot towel. Okay, position my camera. I just need to close the window in the main bedroom again now. I've left it open. I've got some really blue light coming in behind me. better. Okay, got my composition right. Ready to shoot. One second F8 ISO 200. Two seconds. Half a second. Now I'm going to flash into the ceiling at half a second. Being a smaller room, I'm going to use one flash and I'm going to start at half a second. It's probably going to be too much. Yeah, it was a bit too much. It's still okay. What I'm going to do is carefully come in. And I'm going to shoot that again from right in front of the GoPro. Flash it from here. Careful not to bump the camera. quite good. That's actually not bad. I'm going to do one more. Yep, and then another one. Okay, that's good. That's actually quite good. I'm happy with those. Happy with those. 
Now I'm just going to remove the GoPro because I'm picking you up in the reflection of the shower screen. I'll put you out here for a sec. Good. Perfect. Okay. So that's the bathroom we had to shoot. It's an ensuite bathroom. Okay. I just wanted to show the sink, the toilet and the shower. So where the GoPro was, I wasn't interested in getting that part of the vanity. I didn't have to go that wide. Again, I'm shooting at 18 millimeters, which I also shot for the bedroom. All right, there's my last shot with the GoPro missing. There's a GoPro in there, so it just helps me later on if I have to. I mean, it's not hard to Photoshop that out, but it always helps to have a shot if you need it. Now, I shot a number of shots with the flash because I was conscious of my flash reflections and just making sure I get a variety with the reflections in different positions so I can paint them out quite easily. But that exposure is nice. I'm, I'm happy with that exposure. And here's my ambience, one, two, three. Perfect, so that's my good middle shot there. Here's a darker shot here so the vanity's not blown out. And then a flash shot just to even out the lighting and to even out the color. Okay, perfect, done. Okay, we're gonna shoot bedroom three now. Bedroom three is a, a multi-purpose room, so it's, a, um, it's got a bunk bed, and it's also got a lounge and a second TV. So it's actually a bedroom which is big enough that can have either two beds or bed, lounge, TV. So they're going bed, lounge, TV. Now, we're straight away we've got a problem, okay? We need to have this door open in order to shoot this bedroom. But we're getting that light over there, which is coming up from down the hallway. It's a blue light and it's really messing with the light in the room. See that? Blue, warm, cool, warm. All right, you don't want cool and warm in the same shot. That's just a nightmare to fix in Photoshop or in camera roll. So what I'm gonna have to do is come down here into the living area and actually close the the windows here again. So we'll do that now quickly. Those ones done. I'm just going to do this one over here. I mean, they're not they're not block outs. They're just filtering the light out, so they're not really blocking it out. But it's as good as we can get. Okay, as good as we can get. Let's have a look now. Look, we've still got this issue because there is a big difference in the light color. There's not much we can do about that anymore. Short of flagging that whole window off with a black sheet, there's really nothing we can do about it, okay? Now, there is one other option. Because we're on a tight schedule as far as time goes, and I don't have the time to flag out windows completely with black sheets, what we'll do is we'll use our flashes to even out the light to remove that. And in post-production, we'll be able to paint that area of blue light completely out, okay? Two seconds first exposure. Yep, looks good. All right. So even my body's not big enough to flag out the light, so. One second is our third exposure. Okay. Two seconds, flash is on, let's hit this ceiling as hard as we can. Nice. One second, so two seconds, now one second. That's still good. Half a second. That is still good. One quarter of a second. Done it. We did it with flash. Okay, so 
This is where it pays to use flash. And always use flash when you're shooting properties, when you're shooting real estate. And that's why. So that was the last one there. That was one quarter of a second. And if we go back to the ambient exposures, you'll see over here, see that? Okay. So that's one second, two seconds, one half a second. All right. If you didn't have flash, you would be in a lot of trouble. You'd be in a world of pain later on. As soon as we get the flash, that's uh, half a second. No, no, one second, half a second, quarter of a second. So that's a quarter of a second there. I can't remember now, but whatever. That one there is excellent. That's one I'll use. And that's even that light out completely, and it's got rid of that problem with the, the light coming in over our shoulders, okay? So very nice. Will I use the ambient exposures? I will. I'll probably use that one as well, that one there, just to mix out the flash so it doesn't look like it's been heavily flashed. But otherwise, this room, that flash shot's going to save us. Okay. Time for the main bathroom shot now. Closing this door behind me because I can actually see the open door in the mirror of the bathroom. And it's like a big black line. So by closing it, I see the white door so we don't have any ugly things in the mirror. Always thinking about things like that. Okay, that's good. It's perfect there. All right, in the uh, above the vanity, we've got a low mirror, so the mirror comes down about here, so I can actually see the camera, and I can see myself. So I have to get out of the shot for this one. Turn that off. All right, first exposure is one second. Two seconds. One half a second. Now, one half a second, I'm going to flash it. Just with one flash. That's a bit bright. I'm going to go one quarter, which is not going to make a huge difference. But just enough. Perfect. Do the other side. It's good, but I'm going to do the hallway as well. So what I'm going to do is flash in and out. So we'll go on this side again. That's better. And we'll go this side. That's better. Much better. It's a little bit overexposed, but that's fine. I can always bring the exposure down in post-production. Okay, that's the bathroom we've got to shoot there, okay? And here are our exposures. Okay, that's the last lot of exposures I did. Now you can see, see how that's dark in the hallway? To make it easier to bring the whole lot in, to paint it all in, with a flash in the hallway, it lights up the hallway as well. So it, uh, we, ha we balance the exposure between the inside and the outside of the room. So the flash was in and a flash was out, okay? So good flash shots, these are our ambient shots here. That one there is a bit bright. That one there is kind of perfect, perfect exposure. Now we couldn't see the heated towel rail on this side, but we can see it in reflection. We can see the spa jet, so you know that's a spa bath. All right, we've come out as far as we can without picking up the door frame. And we're shooting at, look at that, 23 and a half millimeters, which is ideal. That's ideal. Everything looks in the correct perspective. Okay, very important.